for VIP, I think it's like 1,500 maybe, give or take a few hundred, something like that. The whole weekend. The whole weekend, yeah. Three days. Three days, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, right? Like back I believe Dr. Eli bought in for 5,000. Family pot. Which will actually limit what Garrett can do pre flop. If everyone's deep, he can go crazy. Oh no, Dr. Eli bought in for 40,000? I take it back. It looked like he just sat down with 5K. Nick is open-ended. Garrett has top pair. Zio whiffs again. Boris has bottom pair. Is it about to become the Garrett show? Not a great spot for Nick. He's open-ended, but there's also a flush route there. Maybe he will rep a flush if a heart comes. We're gonna find out. Oh yes, there are two Eli's at the table now. That was seat four Eli that had all the chips. Nick needs to pull the trigger now. I'd be in a hand in a few months. It's a little annoying. I don't think I can win this one either. <laughs> I can't imagine how I can fucking win this hand. I want to put it in there just because I'm like, well, it's the only way I got a shot of winning one fucking hand against this fucking super pro these days, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I can't fuck it. I can't even imagine a fucking. Nick Vertucci playing lights out in that hand. You call out of position with the open ender. You can win when we play bigger. Just give me one in 25.50. To rep the other draw when it gets there. Beautiful poker. I almost told you. I got it. But I didn't think I'd be right. I should have. <laughs> Customer service, bro. Nick referencing last Friday's show where Garrett said, I got it. While his opponent was tanking, no one knows what that was about aside from Garrett. 